this afternoon was a great team win for us. Um, just really proud of the way we shared the basketball. 33 assists on 40 made baskets is, a, is an awesome stat. I thought we had great balance, and it was really good to see um, everybody have a chance to get some minutes tonight. So with it being uh, First Responders Day, what was kind of the message to the team heading in and having the police chief from Waukesha uh, during the game? Yeah, obviously our community was just devastated uh, about everything that happened in, in, uh, just a few weeks ago. And just imagine the holiday season losing um, your loved ones in such a terrible way. And, and you know, the, the first responders that probably um, eased a little bit more of the devastation right there on the spot. And, you know, we're trying to you know, keep this community strong in whatever way possible, whether it's some of the social injustices from last year or, you know, a terrible event um, a few weeks ago that uh, we just want to be able to say thank you to the people who are working extremely hard um, to make Milwaukee and the surrounding areas better. And um, that national anthem was pretty awesome, too. Woo -wee. Mm -hmm. I wish I could sing like that. <laughs> so um, shifting towards the game, uh, Lauren Van Clue, another strong start, 12 points on six for six. What can you say about that? Yeah, she's extremely confident right now. And um, we knew we were going to be able to get a couple things with um, uh, with Melissa Lee guarding her. And um, so we moved Lauren around to a couple different spots to get her inside and then out to her jumper. And um, she was confident. And I thought she took really great shots and very efficient shots within our offense. And um, I feel like the last two games, she's she scored in some, some different ways against two very different defenses. And that's a positive sign for us. Now, everybody today got time, contributed to the stat sheet in some way. How does that speak to the, to the depth of your team? I'm just really happy to see some of our younger players get, get the time today. Uh, you don't always see the work they put in for extra conditioning and extra lifts. And uh, those, those individual one-on-one -on -one sessions with their coaches are so critical to their development. And um, it was just great early on to get a, a little bit better rotation. We've been on kind of a long stretch right now with games from, you know, the Big East weekend into a you know, rivalry game with Milwaukee and now to finish up this last game before um, finals, it's, it's kind of a scary game for coaches. So to see everybody um, step up, ready to go is, is a positive thing moving forward. And I'm just happy now that the, our team will get um, a little break from basketball right now and, and lock into their, their projects and papers and finals and, and have a good week on that side. So speaking of depth players and players off the bench, Daniel Milton had a career high nine, six points in that second quarter. Uh, how have you liked to see her development so far? I thought Danny did great today. She wasn't feeling good actually this morning. I thought she maybe had a little bug or something and uh, we were teasing maybe it's her flu game or something like that. But uh, I just thought her energy was great. She, she rebounded, she sprinted the floor. Um, made some great downhill attacks and finished tonight, which was good to see. And, you know, a player who's probably um, come the longest since she's been here at Marquette, um, just her commitment to buying into the discipline and our program. And it's really great to see her. I didn't realize that was her career high. So that's a that's an awesome number uh, for her going into, into the finals week. And coming off of Wednesday's game against Milwaukee, obviously you came into this game sh starting off sh hot shooting 70% in that first quarter so how were you how happy were you to see the adjustment made from Wednesday's night shooting to today? I, I thought after Milwaukee it was it was just kind of a slugfest it always is when we play them and, and to go into their building and get a win and it, it wasn't very pretty but we came out with uh, the, the win obviously um, I thought we could get some different things today against North Dakota and their defense they were a little bit smaller at some positions um, so I thought our execution was was very good uh, that way and I think we like playing at home right you're more a little more comfortable you, you shoot a lot of shots in that building and I just thought our confidence um, uh, to move the basketball and get open shots was was really important. And, you know, just trying to understand that you're going to have up and down nights with your shooting. And um, we just want to make sure we're getting quality shots and, and trust our preparation that eventually they're going to go in. And we saw that tonight. And then how can how um, important is the confidence that you saw tonight from shooting heading into Big East play? And of course, Seton Hall coming up a oh, tough opponent. Yeah, we're actually going to shut it down a little bit. Um, the schedule's weird, so it's like you play a non-conference and a conference. So most important thing is getting our players locked into um, their schoolwork and academics and get a little bit of rest mentally and physically. Um, and then we'll, uh, as coaches are going on the road recruiting, and then we'll, we'll circle back kind of midweek. And uh, we'll be excited about seeing Hall, a very good team, going out to their places, never, never easy. Um, so looking forward to, to that challenge. Yeah, you guys had a really strong start in that third quarter offensively and defensively held the four of 18, the four of 18 from the field. How important was it to start that second half off like that? Yeah, we're, we're talking about just, we, we look at runs and droughts and all different things game to game. And I thought um, 
and we're really trying to pick up that intensity coming out of halftime and with our with some of our adjustments and I thought overall that was that was a solid um, first couple minutes from from the starters again.